Part 2, Sketching with Clip Studio Paint. All right, so let's get started. Um, another method I really like, I picked this up when I was working with Open Canvas. Uh, you grab yourself a mid-tone that you want to work with, eh, greens or blues or purples or just grays, whatever. Um, preferably something with a nice color to it already. And then you go fill it up. Yay. Um, and I like to sketch with oil paint tools. I start off with a medium large brush. Uh, I have no idea what I'm going to sketch right now. Mm. So we're going to put in a teddy bear. And I like how the colors blend in this way. i be a bit more bold with the lighting. And I'm thinking of doing a lighting like that. So I need to measure where the shadow's going to go. As a kid, I just loved drawing my teddy bears and uh, I was quite proud with some of the results that I got out of those sketchings. Okay, so we've got more shading going like so. It's going to be kind of bold there and we'll see bold like that and shadow will illustrate the depth of you know shadow and highlight it will illustrate the depth or volume that is of what you're trying to draw. Okay, so I've been working in red and now I want to add the highlight a little bit stronger. Just where things are gonna get highlighted. Let's cross hatch around there and we're gonna blur it super nice. Uh, one. Let's get a flat brush in here. Sometimes I would add a texture if I feel like it. It really depends on how what the picture calls upon. Right, my bear has a green sweater. like that and I need to enhance some of the shading just mix that in together because the colors are going to need to be absorbed by one another And this is one of my preferred methods when I'm when I know I'm going to be working in color. I just start sketching in color. All right, a little bit more olive. Okay. Now uh, we're going to work a little bit on the texture. Um, 
let's see if this texture is going to come out nice. Uh, I already have uh, color added on that, so we're going to remove all the paint color in there. Let's turn it down a little. Mm, not bad, not bad. What I'm looking here for is a mixing texture It's that's kind of speckled. Because this fur isn't really uh, long, it's just very short. So what I have here is no amount um, sprayed brush, so it's just going to spread across what I've got. The amount of color stretch is actually quite high, so I may want to tone that down to half. Because we just want to work on the texture a bit. Let's refine the nose and eyes a bit. What we can do, we can just make that into a separate layer. Um, let's use a very solid pen. Uh, turn that a little bit soft. All we want here is the uh, Just some flat to it. Okay, that should be good. Now we change the color to this. Change line color, fabulous. Now we had a light going on. Um, we don't have a specific light color selected, so we're going to just go like this because it's going to mix nicely to background and uh, if we want to just work more layers we can do this Cl um, clip a layer onto that and stronger highlights There we go. Uh, we're going to add a little bit of shading to that. Soften it up. No. It's not dense enough. Multiply. There we go. Uh, and for extra measure, let's pick up the layer around.
and we're going to put that just a color dodge. Oh, oh color dodge is that all right? Glue dodge, no. Add too much. Add glow. Too strong overlay. It makes it darker. Soft light, hard light. Hard light is actually not too bad. Always pick what you want out of the effect that you're looking for. Let's see. Um, Now we can go back here and just start to add more detailing. Mm, let's play. Oil paint. So this is sketching with oil paint brushes. Um, I have a lot of fun, and I never know what comes out. And I really like how Clip works with its oil paint brush. It just has a nice, smooth um, combination of of color and pressure. That there's a lot to be able to control. So that's a fun little sketch with oil paintbrush in Clip Studio Paint. Thanks for watching and keep checking out. Don't forget to um, send in suggestions if there if you need a bit of help with uh, with how to solve this, how to improve that in your drawings. Cause I'm just aiming to expand my tutorial services here and uh, I may not be the best pro at Clip but I'm sharing a lot of what I'm learning and picking up and this is content that I'd like for other new beginners to grasp as well because uh, it was really a pain um, having expectations and not understanding how the software wasn't responding to how you wanted it to behave. All right. So have fun, keep drawing! <laughs>